I've decided to make this video, like, educational. I don't really give a fuck. It's raw. It is what it fucking is. If you can't handle this, then fuck off. Seriously, I don't want to uh, offend anybody or fucking trigger anybody, but guess what? I'm blunt, I'm straightforward. This is it, okay? This is what you call a piezo, which is also called an oil burner. And yeah, so basically, obviously you put the product in there and then what pe most people don't learn and you kind of have to teach yourself, which is somewhat of an art form in it itself, is actually vaporizing this properly without actually burning the product because if you burn the product then you get a bunch of um, basically char and fucking carbon and you're basically just wasting it and you're not really <laughs> you're kind of just fucking up your lungs basically it's already not good to be uh, inhaling any sort of uh, you know smoke unless it's like you know like rare occasion like peace pipe type stuff right but um so yeah this um you put it in, you have to heat it, basically, uh, a lot of people, they use the jet lighters, like, you, you see a lot of the tweakers doing this stupid shit, um, um, you can manage to do it with a jet lighter, but it's usually too hot, and it usually ends up burning, and, because even if you're, you're skilled at it, sometimes you get impatient, and you're just sitting there, fucking, yeah, with it, like a fucking idiot. So you put it in, you heat it from the bottom, and you usually keep the flame about two to three inches away from it, you know, from hitting the bottom, and then, like, you kind of slowly cradle it back and forth, and then you'll start noticing the smoke swirling. Once the smoke starts swirling, then you slowly, like, you slowly inhale, and then as you inhale, you increase, you know, the, the inhalation. And, um, basically what it does is it keeps it at a certain temperature where it vaporizes it, which is, it's, it's, it's kind of tricky, you know, you get, you get used to it after a while, but it does, um, heat it up in a certain way where as the air is passing through there and, you know, the, the heat is, you know, heating it and it's turning into a vapor, you know, you, you cradle it and then you kind of pull, pull the flame away. You don't want to keep it there because it'll, yeah, yeah it's, it. It's not a very good, uh, not a very good thing. <laughs> there you go. You know, that's kind of how it works with that. That's not really, I would, don't really recommend this or um, injection, you know. Do whatever the fuck you want, though. You know, to each his fucking own, right? To me, I actually like to do this, snort it, and fucking pop it, you know. I don't like mainlining anything. I don't like, I don't like needles. Um... So this is um a little bit of an education on like you know proper fucking you know smoke usage. I don't really I don't recommend this path to people. I don't recommend people do this. But people are gonna fucking do shit anyway. And what would you rather do? Be properly fucking educated or just be filled full of fucking fear and bullshit? You know, because I'm telling you, man, you you hear so much shit, right? But I'm telling you, if you took a piece of that and put it in somebody's fucking drink. Didn't tell them about it. I'm telling you about fucking 30 minutes later. They'd be like, oh my god, why do I feel so uplifted, so happy? You know? <laughs> I don't know. It's just really fucked up to me how, how the system works. But uh, there you go. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do is... Yeah, like take... Take a fucking chunk. Probably the, probably the, um, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take some smoke at the other end, I'm gonna fucking snort, and then I'm gonna pop a piece. And then I'm gonna drink my beers, and then I'm gonna fucking roll a big fat fucking joint, and I'm just gonna go out for a fucking midnight fucking stroll, because, you know, what is a fucking, you know, it's, I might as well go out in fucking nature and enjoy this while it fucking lasts, because, you know, I really need to fucking do this because it's holding me back from so much fucking shit. It so, has so much potential, but at the same time, it's holding me back, you know? But there you go. Uh, this is raw fucking footage, you know? I don't fucking sugarcoat shit, okay? Um, 
and I'm not gonna fucking make up a bunch of shit like the face is a mess because that's fucking bullshit too. It will kind of like you know, like it will kind of sometimes you do kind of like breakouts and shit like that. But there's certain people where it's just like they they start fucking picking their fucking face off for whatever reason. We call them the pickers, you know, because they already had some sort of a weird tick before they even did it. So, um, yeah, shout out to Angie because she uh, she quit. She quit. She had to quit too at a certain point because it was just you know. Um, she was mainly doing it though for her back pain because it really does help for fucking pain. So I can understand why she was you know, why it helped her in a lot of ways and like that. But if you are going to, it'd probably be better just like the ephedra plant from the teas like Mormon tea, uh, stuff like that because you know this is just it's, it's extremely powerful and, um. I'll let you just have the li- some of the links in the description. Don't get too fucking whatever, because he kind of it's like yeah, he, he gives a lot of good information. But he kind of goes all spooky with it, and shit, because uh, he talks about how like it'll only usually bring uh, dark entities into your life and it cause a lot of havoc and like evil shit. Um, and very few people actually um, use this and actually fucking get in contact with like you know ascended master type entities, right, and I was lucky enough to fucking have the tweaker birds <laughs> call me a tweaker, and, you know, give me more than enough warnings to, you know, it's enough is enough, you know, I'm glad, uh, whatever, if, you know, my higher self or whatever guiding me had enough patience with me, <laughs> because, uh, well, they knew I had good intentions, I don't fucking take this shit and go do all the fucking stupid stereotypical shit you hear people do. You know, like, I pay for my shit, you know, I don't go fucking steal away other people's shit. I actually share my shit uh, with people, <laughs> which makes them look at you funny. Because they've been totally fucking... Well, think about it, you, you go into it thinking one thing, you take it, it's... Yeah, it's... It's all fucking mumble jumble. Um, yeah, it's just like, I'm the kind of person where it's like, if you really wanted to get some drug information, um in, like, context of, like, experience and educating myself, I'd be the person to come to when it comes to that, especially, like, uh, you know, things that are synthesized and, like, chemicals, you know. The herbs have always been, you know, because this comes from, it, that's another thing, too, with the chemistry, um, it's not all fucking bad, it's just that the, the pharmaceutical is the sorcery that they're doing, they're, they're not, um, they're not telling you that it's just tools and they're giving you band-aid shit and they're also synthesizing, purposely synthesizing uh, things to destroy, like completely fucking destroy you. And I think the reason why certain drugs are fucking lethal is because it is a fucking threat to fucking, to, uh, to certain groups or people or whatever because, you know, this sure as hell didn't make me any more fucking ignorant. If anything, it kind of opened me up a bit more to a lot of more things, you know sometimes for the worst, you know, because you, like, with the conspiracies, uh, you don't be looking at conspiracies when you're fucking don't be doing that shit, you're gonna be fucking, you'll be fucking chased by fucking shadow people and all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> but if you have a strong enough mentality and you, you can, you know, tell yourself, hey, it's in my head, you should be okay. I actually stayed up so long one time, um, I was sitting on the bed and I heard this, like, audible hallucinate well I don't even think it was a hallucination because it felt too fucking real you know like being able to discern between a hallucination like something that's delusion in your head and something that's aligning with your frequency while you're using the tool is is a whole different ball game so yeah I just I recommend you just stick to your mushrooms and your cannabis if anything but if you really want to go hardcore then there you go I'll leave it at that I gotta go on my midnight stroll. And yeah, I really need to try to enjoy myself and not freak out. Because, like, what the fuck's the point, man? You know? That's another thing, too. It's like, everybody's all stressing out and shit like that. You know, their life's already in shambles and then they're using drugs. Well, think about it this way. If you're you do, doing this kind of shit, if your life is already stabilize and you have like everything going for you and then you have a place where you can just come like just do it comfortably and not have to worry about all the other stupid shit and then <laughs> yeah
Yeah, there's so many ways of looking at this. It's just um, tired of it, you know. And I understand if uh, you have people that in your family that maybe died or whatever from this kind of stuff, but it's the re the reason why there's violence and all this shit surrounding it is because of the, the profits and the, it being illegal and the, the cops and the gangs and shit. You take all that shit out of there, dude, you, they need to fucking make like a school or a program where they can probably educate people. Because they're doing it anyway, and they don't give a fuck, you know, if they fucking take that drug away, they're gonna fucking find some other fucking shit. You know how many fucking, uh, how many research chemicals and how many fucking new chemicals have been coming out? Like, they, they have shit that fucking, uh, you think you're getting acid, you think you're getting this, but it's actually a fucking drug that just mimics the effects. It's just like a molecule off or, or whatever. So, uh, yeah, anyways, be safe out there and fucking... Yeah, fucking educate yourself, man. Don't fucking just look at things and think you fucking know it. You know, experience it.